Hi guys, welcome to another video on Jay's workshop. Today we're gonna be doing a full service on the smart. What is this? A four four? Yeah, four four. Four four. I think it's a 2018 plate. So first we need to open the boot. Is it open? Yeah. 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 Cool. So we need to lift up um, this boot cover. Up. I think I have to pull that corner as well, isn't it? Oh, it's just that lever, yeah? Alright, cool. So you have to take off these little hand screws, hand tightened down screws. All together, there's one, two, um, three, four, five. And there's one missing here. Once it's off, literally just lifts away. Do you want to grab it? Okay. Be careful not to grab the screws. You know what? Let me grab these screws first. Put them here. And that's how you gain access to the engine. So, we're going to be changing the air filter, the three spark plugs, oil, and the oil filter which is underneath. So, first we have to drain the oil, which is right here, the sump pan. It's right here. Yeah. Tools are like a square, 5 16 size. <sighs> to release the oil. Once it's cracked, so that up. now we're going to be taking off the air filter. Two T20 Torx screws. One's there. Yeah, I don't think it really comes out. And there's another one here. Just up here. Come out. Oh no, I think they sit in there, that's cool. Yeah, so this should just literally lift away like that. Okay, we're gonna have to take this off as well to move the yeah, pipe, yeah. then we can take it off. So we need a flathead, just a simple flathead screwdriver. Once it's loosened a bit, should be able to pull it away. Here, try and pull that away. Oh, okay, for some reason it's loosened up. Cool, cool. Okay. Just take this out. As you can see, that's demolished. <laughs> that is done. Um, definitely in need of a new one. There's a new filter. Nice and fresh. Wash water. That's it. Just gonna put it back down. Just gonna clip into the left first, yeah. Left. Yeah. There's, like, there's some little sliding spots. Can you see it? Okay. We'll just kind of diagonally tuck in. Diagonally, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Can you see on the yeah, left? Yeah, I see, I see. The, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So kind of lift yeah, that corner up. Right? Oh, yeah, you've done it. Cool. So, yeah, we just tighten up this circlip now. And then tighten the two torques up. Is that tight, yeah? Should be. Just yeah. I need to fully, fully tighten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it there. I'm just tightening up the two torques and that's how you do the uh, spark plugs which are here. So I'm gonna take out the clips first. Can you get your hand in there? You just uh, squeeze the clip the and pull it away. Yeah. These ones? No, 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 these ones. Uh, okay, and this button yeah, yeah. is not here, yeah. You just squeeze it and pull it away here. So that's one. Two. And three. Problem. Yeah, they're a bit tight sometimes. There you go. 
what we'll do as well, uh, maybe we'll pull this away to get off of the axis. We'll put it back on up here. Cool. So now this looks like an 8mm. Let me just go and grab my socket. We'll take off the pull pack to so just release the 8mm. Not that it's holding it in. Yeah. Yeah. Should be able to do the rest by hand. Yeah. Don't drop it, yeah? No, the thing's open at the bottom, but still, don't want to take that long thing just in case. So. Literally. So, two. And the third one's coming up. Yeah. Cool. So, we just keep them on the side here. Don't want to lose them. And the core pack should just simply pull away. There you go. That's one. We don't want to mix them up. Okay. So, left one's there. It's the middle one. And the last one, just keep it beside that on the right here. Yeah? Cool. So now we have access to our spark plugs. Is on here. So, we need to take the spark plugs out. You need a 14mm spark plug socket and a little extension bar. Put this in first. And then attach your ratchet. And then it's a bit tricky because it's tight. Yeah, cracked it. Can't really crack something else as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's it. So once it's loosened, you can take the ratchet off and just do the rest of your hand. Be easier. The old one it's burnt out nicely there's no oil no leaks it's, it's absolutely perfect that's how spot used spark plug should you be um should look sorry so yeah that's the old one out so yeah that's the old uh spark plug and we're going for a bosch spark plug just remember guys this is a 14 mil it's not a usual size but make sure you have this socket okay so we're gonna hand tighten it first so we don't cross thread, we always hand tie in. So once you start getting a bite, tighten it off with a ratchet. We don't want to over tighten it's just like that and it stops that's enough let's take this socket out and it's going to be the same for the other other two but i'm not going to bother filming it <laughs> so yeah uh, we finished changing all the spark plugs we're going to put the coil packs back in now in order starting from the right so yeah just pops in like that and put the clip back on as well that's it, and then second one. So pop the clip back on. And last but not least, the third one. In, yeah? Yeah. You should hear that little click. All right, now we're just going to hand tighten the screws in. Okay. 
pieces once I unscrew them here. And then, yeah. and then what we've got to do is tighten it off again with the 8mm socket. Oh, this is a bit funky. Yeah, it's got to be lined up for us to screw up there. Yeah. So, yeah, just tighten that off. Turn the last one off. That's it, don't over tighten it, just so it stops. I'm just gonna pop the brew pack back on. Hear that click? That's mm -hmm. solid. So we've done the plugs now, done the air filter, we've released the oil at the bottom, now we've got to change the oil filter. Okay, so the oil stopped dripping now. What I'm gonna do is put the new sump back in. <coughs> So like that. I'm gonna give it a little wipe. I will wipe it again with brake cleaner just to make it look clean. And I'm gonna tighten it off as well. I'm gonna over tighten it, it's just enough. Yep, that's tight. Give it a little spray with some brake cleaner and wipe it off. That's fine. We'll just get this out of the way now and then we'll take the oil filter off. Oil filter is here. It's located, here's the sump can. It's just located in the back of the engine up here. So we have to remove that. So yeah, guys, I've got the oil filter out. I had to use one of these tools because I couldn't find the right size socket for it as you can see it's out so we're just gonna put oil on the face of the new filter and then hand tighten it back in and I'm gonna give this a good view. So here's the new Bosch filter put some oil on the lip uh, we're just gonna basically have to hand tighten it into the Now you can see the filters in. Uh, so I'm just literally going to hand tighten it off now. The oil filter's tightened off. Now what we're going to do, we're using 040 grade of oil, which is recommended for this car. Uh, touch your edge. This car takes 3.1 litres, so here's the filler point. to fill a cap so we're gonna put 3.1 liters in there and that is it guys job done and we'll check the dipstick as well which is in there check that out yep so, so that's the dipstick and that's the filler cap so yeah we're just gonna put 3.1 liters of oil in there check it with the dipstick once the car's level on the wall now Put the cap on, put the zip stick back in. I'm gonna drive it off the ramp now and then let it like run for about a minute or two. Check the dipstick again and then I'll show you guys how to reset the oil. So guys, now I'm gonna show you how to reset the oil light, service light. So just have to go through the menu. Yeah, so come to your service due and then what you got to do is hold down the OK button. Literally just hold it down, have some patience. It does take a little while. And literally need to have some patience, it'll start flashing. There you go, next service is due in 12 and a half thousand miles. So that's all done now. I'm just gonna check the dipstick, make sure the oil's right. And yeah, that is it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you share, subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.
Right, so we're going to be changing, um, topping up the screen wash as well. So I'll show you guys how to open the, I don't know, it's just a boot up on this car. This engine's on the back, so literally there's two clips that pop open, slides away. And that's your washer fluid there. That's your brake fluid here. And that's your coolant as well. And the battery's there.